All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I want to go over uh, which college degree to get if you guys want to get into network engineering uh, or just tech in general. So um, this is going to sound a little bit controversial, but you don't need a college degree at all, first of all. Like, in my honest opinion, I truly believe a college degree um, in a traditional sense is not worth it in current in today's current tech landscape, in my honest opinion, right? Um, what I highly recommend, and this is what I recommend to all my students that I mentor. If you guys don't know, I, I mentor students on how to get into network engineering, and many of my students have been able to land network engineering jobs with zero experience and zero college degree. So it's possible, but you got to have to learn the skills anyways. But if you guys want help on that, please click the link down below and I can show you that um, on how to, on how, how I can mentor you on that. But um, if you guys are stuck on college and you say, hey, I still want to go to college, then these is, this is what I would recommend and some of the colleges that I would recommend for you. So uh, first thing out there, if you are going to an Ivy League school like UPenn, Harvard, Yale, Stanford, I don't think Stanford's ivy but you know i'm talking about like these high level schools um i would just say hey go to those schools because they're very credible and the you know you're, you're gonna have so many connections that you're probably gonna be fine in terms of the job market but if you're going to a random st state school community college um these are some of the majors i would pick but then again i still wouldn't recommend this in my opinion but um, if you are going to school pick a very broad major like computer science but even then i would still not even recommend that to be honest, but if, if you are going to pick a major, pick computer science or computer information systems. Don't pick a major in a very specific field like networking or or cyber or anything like that because you're going to put everything in a net. You you want to grab as many different. You want to make it as broad as possible. At the end of the day, I mean, if you are going to go to school, I would highly recommend you go to WGU or or any school that you can get a degree quick because unless you want the college experience and you you want to live the college life, then I understand that. Um, but if you if you're if your ultimate goal is like I just want a network engineering position as quickly as I possibly can, um, then I would I would not recommend the four year degree. It's a waste of time in my opinion, right? So, I would go through WGU. It takes six months if you do it correctly, right? It's very easy. There's tons of videos on how to do it. You can get it done in six months, right? And even then, I would still recommend you get a job first and have like get a basic level IT job and have that job pay for that degree. That way, at least you're getting experience from that that day job that's um, IT specific, but then you're also getting your WGU um, degree at the same time, right? That's one way, but obviously there's, there's even better ways if you have mentorship and guidance that can sort of fast track you out. Like I said, I offer that. You can click the link in the description in that. Um, but WG is probably the fastest track you guys can get into a network engineering position or just a, d a degree in general, right? That That's the easiest possible way. But in terms of majoring, a lot of people, the main struggle is, hey, I'm going to major in networking. When people say, hey, I, I like, why would you major in networking? You always want to go broad no matter what. Computer science is the gold standard. You know, it doesn't matter what people say. It is the gold standard in IT, even though it's it's diminished in value dramatically. Um Cybersecurity, like if you like these other degrees are new. Like there wasn't a cybersecurity degree 30 years ago, right? There wasn't. It, these are just new degrees that schools are offering just so they can make money off of students who just don't know. And it's really unfortunate to say, to say that, but that's what these schools are doing nowadays. A lot of these schools, they understand that like, you know, these degrees don't really have the value, but they're still going to be charging a lot of money, right? And I and the last thing I want you guys to get into is is a, a rack up a, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars of student loan debt and not being able to find a position, right? So if you are going to go the college route, you need to, to, your main focus shouldn't be learning from the college from whatever they're teaching you. It should be to mainly focus on landing a job and going through connections that the school offers. Because at the end of the day, the only thing that, that's going for these schools is that, is that they have connections and there's people that, there's a, maybe an alumni network and you need to take advantage of that ASAP, like ASAP. You need to know people at the end of the day that's that's what your main focus should be in university if you're going to a traditional four-year college you need that's your that's your only best bet is to find individuals find hiring managers who worked at that who went to that particular school and, and and build a connection and like i said that involves you going to clubs you talking to people you going to events and being of you know finding people if you can find people build connections use a school's network a lot of schools they offer internships you need to take advantage of that and when you get internships you need to take advantage of those internships and actually build connections make contacts and then you'll have a huge supply of people you can ever, ever speak to whenever you get a position at the end of the day that is your, your easiest way is referral based and that is the only thing that's going for college as of right now is that you can meet other interesting people and find yourself in in really good situations right that's the only benefit 
You're not going to go to college to learn, in my opinion, because when I went, I went through a traditional four-year college and I, I went through a program called Computer Information Systems and I did not learn networking from there. I took one networking class, right? Very basic level, very service level. And you don't really learn much and that's it. You get, you pass a class and you move on, right? But then I also learned data. I learned cyber. I learned cloud. I learned networking. I learned security. I learned a lot of different aspects, but it's just so high level to the point where a company is not going to hire you to do the job for them if it's, since it's, you barely have any experience. So you need to leverage getting experience as soon as you possibly can and getting referrals, by talking to people and networking with people in your school who work at companies. You need to actually talk to people. In those four years, you need to you need to have a Rolodex of contacts you can speak to. That's the ultimate goal. That's how you can succeed in college. That's how you can actually benefit. Because at the end of the day, that's what's really going for universities as of right now is that aspect of it. Other than that, you're not going in to learn, right? And most of the stuff is outdated. Uh, they're not giving you very job-specific roles. Uh, or job specific learning abilities are just teaching you high level things. Um, so that's just my opinion. But like I said, the best, the fastest track possible is to find someone who's already a network engineer or already in an IT space or whatever space you want to get into and learn exactly how they got in um, by, or learn exactly what they do day to day as in the job and focus on learning those skills that they do. Then you can learn how to interview and learn how to pass interviews and be able to get a job. Right. That's like I said, you don't need a degree. Right. I mean, I've worked with many individuals who don't have college degrees um, that work alongside me as a network engineer. You don't need it. OK. But like I said, if you ever want to go through the college route, because I know some people, maybe you're 18 um, and you want to live a college life, you know, all your because I'll be honest, if you maybe mo like there's a lot of peer pressure involved within college. A lot of their friends are going to college. So they're like, hey, I got to go to college, too. And they rack up a lot of debt, which is a big, big problem. Um, you may be like a lone wolf if you do this method but you are going to be in a better position maybe four years later. So you have to believe in yourself to know that it's going to work out in the future, right? But just know that, you know, just because your friends are in college and, and and you're not, doesn't mean you're not successful. And and that's kind of what the marketing engine of college has done to a lot of people is they believe, hey, I need to go to college to to be of someone. You don't need to. And and like I said, you can go to college if you want. It's, it's your choice. It's not, you know, I went to college myself. Um, but looking back, I wish I didn't, to be honest, because I could have, at 18, could have immediately gradu uh, graduated high school, got an IT job, and then maybe become a network engineer by 20, right? I, I don't, like, that could have very well been the case, right? Um, but college is another route as well, right, um, if you want to do that route. So it's all up to you. Um, if you are going to major, please do a broad major, please, a very, very broad major um, in either computer science or computer information systems. Um, and that's it. And even then, like I said, I still wouldn't even recommend it mainly because like the thing with college guys and why I kind of despise it is because you don't need a degree. Like the degree doesn't give you a job, right? It doesn't result in anything. It doesn't result in having a lower applicant pool. For example, if you go to, if you get a degree in nursing, right, you have a nursing degree and, you have, and then you get a nursing license, that actual nursing license that you have, you that's what sets you apart from other people. Like I can't apply to nursing jobs myself with my with my with my computer information systems degree, right? I'm not I, I can't do that. But but that person who had that nursing license can still apply to computer science um, or like like tech jobs and still get a tech job. So there's no one, there's nothing that, that you get that's credible. That degree isn't like a license, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of where it's like, you know, once companies were like, hey, we don't we don't care if you have a degree. That's where it kind of opened the floodgates and, you know, that's where the degree kind of, that's where it went and tumbled, right? But if you're going to be a doctor, nurse, chemist, um, things that need degrees, civil engineers, then you have no choice but to get a degree because you have to get that professional license that, that you get after the degree that from these accredited schools. Computer science, you don't get that. And that's why you won't find a job or you have, you struggle because, you know, if anyone could apply for nursing jobs, then the degree would diminish, right? So that's kind of where it kind of tumbled. So I'm um, sorry for my huge rant. I just wanted to just tell you guys about the degree route. If you guys want to do that, that's what you would do. But I would highly despise that and wouldn't recommend that. But like I said, if you want to live the college experience, you're young, you just, you don't really care as much um, or you still care, but you just want to like be with your friends or whatever. I understand that. Then go the college route, but just know that it does come at a cost of your, t uh, of your time. Um, if you're going to do like the IT route and you're going to have a lot of heartache as well, as long as you get the references, you go through, 
You build a lot of connections in those four years, you get a ton of internships, and then you'll be fine, right? So that's that. Uh, but thank you guys so much for your time. Like I said, if I offer that mentorship program to fast track you into a network engineering position, uh, please click the link down below and I can show you that. Um, but thank you guys so much for your time. Please comment below if you guys are in college, have any questions, please uh, tell me if this makes sense to you guys. Um, but give it a like if you guys like the video. Feel free to subscribe if you guys would like to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for your time and peace.